The Acumatica Distribution Suite. The Acumatica Distribution Suite manages inventory, quotes, sales orders, purchase orders, returns, and requisitions. The Distribution Suite is fully integrated with other Acumatica modules, such as AR, AP, General Ledger, CRM, and Fixed Assets. I begin by navigating to the Distribution tab in Inventory. You can manage both stock and non-stock items within Acumatica, as well as kits that include component items. The stock item or non-stock item record acts as your master inventory record for each item you sell. From the General Settings tab, you can dictate item classes such as consumer goods or food items for reporting purposes, lot and serial classes to help you automatically set rules around lot and serial number assignment, valuation methods to help you accurately reflect the cost of your goods on your books such as average, standard, or FIFO, and units of measure that can be converted for you based on the unit you sell in versus the unit you purchase in. You can also manage price and cost information, warehouse details, vendor details, and even attributes like color or size. Lastly, replenishment information can be set for your items to dictate reorder points. For example, I can say that any time I dip under 10 of these items on hand, I would like a purchase suggestion to be sent to my supply chain manager that it is time to place a new PO. Because we have configured our item settings on the item record, they will now be auto-populated for us when we go to purchase or sell the item. From the dashboard of a supply chain or shipping and inventory manager, you will see a number of purchase suggestions based on the reorder points we saw a moment ago. I can drill into those purchase suggestions to begin the replenishment process. I can manually enter a purchase order or I can drill into the amount of items that needs to be ordered. The system will suggest the items and the vendors to purchase from, and then we can process to prepare for replenishment. From the Create Purchase Orders screen, I'll now have all of the purchase orders automatically prepared for me that are ready to be replenished. Confirming my default vendors and quantities, I can now process the PO. The purchase order can then be emailed to the vendor. The email will appear on the activity log from my PO record, and I can customize this email to fit my organization's needs. Once my lead time has passed, I can return to the purchase order and enter my purchase receipt. I'll enter the reference number for my vendor, and as I release my purchase receipt, I have updated my on-hand and available inventory numbers in real time. I performed this purchase creation and receipt manually today, but also keep in mind that you can set automation schedules for your purchase orders to do this behind the scenes automatically. You can set up the conditions for your schedule, as well as the dates, even down to the hours that you would like this schedule to run. Once I have available inventory to sell, I can place the items on sales orders. From the sales order record, I'll select a customer for the order and all of their financial settings such as terms and discounts will be auto-applied from their customer record. Under my document details, I can manually add a line item or I can use the add stock item button to look back at this customer's order history and price history over time. The sold since icon allows me to select the date range that I'd like to analyze for my order history. I can add an item to the order and save and close. Once I have my items and quantities on the order, I can use Acumatica's integrated carrier rate shopping to shop for rates. I'll refresh my rates and I'll select the carrier that makes sense for me to use for this order. Once saved, the sales order will appear directly on the dashboard of the warehouse employees for shipment. In this example, we've created sales order number 4007. As I navigate to the dashboard of my shipping and inventory manager, you will see sales order number 4007 is ready to be shipped. I drill into the sales order, review any necessary information, and I create my shipment. Once my shipment is created, Acumatica allows me to print the pick list. The pick list also includes barcodes that I can use in my warehouse if I choose to use barcode scanning devices. Once I have picked all of my goods and confirmed my shipment, I'll also have access to the shipping label to place on the outside of the box due to the carrier shipping integration we saw earlier. Once the warehouse workers have fulfilled this order, it would be time to prepare this invoice with the finance team. The invoice can be emailed out to the customer and released to the general ledger. We now have all of the associated batch information from this invoice. The Acumatica distribution suite allows you to manage inventory, quotes, orders, purchases, returns, and requisitions all in one place. Due to the integration with other Acumatica modules such as AR, AP, General Ledger, and CRM, 
you can guarantee that your organization's information will be presented in real time with real-time inventory levels and real-time order information. Thank you for joining me today for a look at Acumatica's distribution suite. For more information, please contact your local Acumatica reseller or reach out to us at info at acumatica.com.